Drop for Manchester United, out of form for England and heavily criticised by the media and fans. What has happened to Maguire and is his career at Manchester United over? It was only three years ago when Manchester United forked out a world record £80 million for Leicester centre-back Harry Maguire. At the time, the public consensus was that the fee was too much but that Maguire would be a very good signing for Manchester United nonetheless. And this was certainly the case in his first season for the club as he played every minute of Manchester United's league campaign as they finished third. The following season, Manchester United did one better as they finished second in the league and got to the Europa League final. Once again, Maguire had a solid campaign, making 52 appearances in all competitions. It was nothing amazing, but he certainly wasn't playing badly. But in his third season at the club, were well, when the warning signs were starting to show, Maguire was part of a United defence shipping in goals for fun. In just 38 league games, they conceded 57 goals and finished outside the top four. But because Oli was sacked and many other players were also below par, Maguire got away with it. This season though, Maguire has been highlighted as arguably the worst player for Manchester United. His career at Manchester United is hanging on by a thread. And here are the four reasons why. Number one, a poor start to the season. In the opening day of the season, Manchester United lost 2-1 to Brighton as Harry Maguire started in the back line. He then also started the next game which was another 4-0 trashing, this time at the hands of Brentford. What happened next was a huge turning point in Maguire's career at Manchester United. With Ole Gunnar Solskjaer long gone, Maguire did not retain his place in the starting eleven, and new manager Ten Hag dropped him for Varane. Things got from bad to worse for Harry Maguire when the new centre-back partnership of Martinez and Varane changed Manchester United fortunes around. In their first game together, they formed a solid centre-back partnership and helped their side get a 2-1 victory against Liverpool. This new-look Manchester United defence had pace and aggression, two traits that Maguire lacked. Manchester United would also go on to beat Southampton, Leicester and Arsenal whilst Maguire watched from the sidelines. Number 2. The Return of Harry Maguire Maguire finally returned to the starting lineup in the Europa League opening game against Real Sociedad. With Martinez and Varane being rested, this was the perfect opportunity for Maguire to stake a claim for himself in the starting eleven going forward. But unfortunately for him, he was unimpressive as Manchester United went on to lose their first game since the last time he was in the starting eleven against Brentford. And Ten Hag once again showed his ruthless nature and didn't make the same mistake twice as in the next game against Sheriff, Maguire was merely able to get an appearance off the bench. Put simply, Manchester United have lost every game Maguire has started and won every game he hasn't started. Number 3. Leaks to the media Maguire hasn't just been an issue on the pitch for the Red Devils, he is also proving to be damaging to the team off it. A report from ESPN came out last week in which a source close to Maguire revealed that the club captain believes De Gea is to blame for his struggles this season. He suggested that De Gea's poor communication and reluctance to come off his line is what is causing Maguire problems. The source close to Maguire then bizarrely claimed that Ruben Diaz would struggle in this Manchester United back 4-2 whilst Maguire would thrive at City. To be playing poorly is one thing, but to take no accountability and throw teammates under the bus is a whole nother issue. Harry Maguire has all but burnt his bridges with the manager, teammates and the fans. Number 4. No change of luck at England The final nail in the coffin for Maguire was his most recent appearance for England. The fact that he even got called up was questionable from Gareth Southgate to say the least. This is the same England manager who had previously claimed that he would only pick players based on merit, yet chose an out of form centre back who has barely played for his club this season, and when he has, has been below par. But okay, Maguire always plays good for England, right? In a back three, he is a solid centre-back, according to many pundits. Against Italy, Harry Maguire was okay and didn't attract much attention, barring a blunder where he unnecessarily kicked the ball out for a corner under no pressure. But the poor form of Harry Maguire was on display once again against Germany. He made a mistake for two of the three goals that Germany scored that night. Firstly, he conceded a penalty after making a clumsy challenge on Jamal Musiala, which Gundogan converted. He then also lost the ball in the build-up to Germany's second goal. Maguire received so much scrutiny after the game that he had to come out and apologise for his performance on Instagram. With Maguire playing poorly for Manchester United and playing poorly for England, surely even Gareth Southgate will finally decide to drop him if this continues. So is Maguire's career at Manchester United over? Well, he definitely has lost his invincibility at Manchester United. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is no longer in charge and Martinez and Varane are the undisputed first choice centre-backs. Whilst Ten Hag is at the club, it is difficult to see Maguire getting much game time barring an injury crisis. The new manager has made it clear that he likes pacey, aggressive centre-backs who can play out from the back and Maguire couldn't be further away from such a player. And with the United captain turning 30 in March, his career at Manchester United is a ticking time bomb. Barring a miracle, it is difficult to see Maguire still being at Manchester United next season. But let me know what you guys think. 
Does Maguire still have a future at Manchester United or is he heading for the exit door? And as always, please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.